morning, everybody. And for all of you guys that have been missing a cutting, guess what? We have a banger clutch for you guys to cut. It was actually a lorry pinstripe bread to a lorry ball python, so we could get super lorry, super lorry pins, all kinds of stuff like that. Six eggs, let's jump into egg number one. Here we go, come on. Again, we can get all kinds of different combos, but hopefully we'll get at least a couple super lorries. Right off the rip. Nope, we just got a lorry ball python right off the rip. That's okay, we got five eggs to go. And the super lorry pins really don't have a lot of pattern to them. So although genetically they're really cool, I'm kind of hoping for normal super lorries to be totally honest with you. But I'm not gonna complain, no matter what, we get egg number two. It's so good to be back to egg cutting, guys. It's been so long, it feels like it's been forever for me. What do we have here? Ah, just another lorry ball python. So right now we're not hitting the odds very well, but again, it's about one in four odds for a super lorry and about one in six odds for a super lorry pin. Right. We still have four eggs to go. Let's hope we get one. Come on. I think this is going to be the Super Lorry right here, guys. Right? Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Uh, oh, we got a pinstripe. It actually is a Lorry pinstripe, though. And the chances are pretty good that most of this clutch is going to be Lorry, because Lorry to Lorry is basically, you know, three out of four on average are going to be Lorry ball pythons. We still have three eggs left. No supers yet, so let's get going. Down in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Am I going to hit it in this clutch? Am I going to hit a Super Lorry, a Super Lorry pin? Or am I going to whiff all the way around? I don't know yet. Oh, another Lorry pinstripe ball python right here. So uh, that's all right. Genetically, they're really cool animals, Lori stuff, but I was really hoping for supers. We're down to two eggs. This is when it starts to get a little bit scary. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So let's see what this one has to offer. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on, please, super. No super. Oh, another Lori ball python. Just another Lori ball python. We're down to one egg, guys. One egg. Let's at least, add, I was hoping for two supers. Let's just get one, please. Because if I whip on this, it's gonna be a big bummer. There's no doubt about it. So let's go ahead and check out. Let's go, let's do it. All right, Super Lori right here. I can feel it. I know it's there. I can tell it's gonna be a Super Lori. 100%, 100%, 100%. And it's a Lori ball python. Darn it! I tell you, you win some, you lose some. I take you guys on the good, the bad, the ugly. This one wasn't very, uh, very pretty. I'm not gonna lie to you, but hey, that's all right. We're still gonna have some beautiful Lori Ball Pythons and uh, no supers in this clutch. What can you do? And good morning, Reptile Army. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. Do me a favor, you know the gig, the movement. I need you to be my foot soldiers, reptilearmy.com. Go ahead, check it out. We got some new stuff dropping soon. Uh, I sure do appreciate your support. This is a drumstick and that's RJ over there. We've been a while since we fed RJ. Come on, bud. Whoa, whoa, hello now. Come on, up here. There you go. There you go, buddy. <laughs> he is such a great owl. I always keep saying, I cannot wait till he gets actually over to the Reptarium because, I mean, just look at that. I mean, I've had this alligator for a good 12 years or so. Come on, up here, up here, up here, up here, up here. There, there we go. Whoa, whoa. Tell you what, getting close to the fingers there. But he's such a good boy. I mean, he is so good. You want more? Come on, up, 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 up. Come on, up, up, up. There you go, buddy. <laughs> and this is a nice meal. He loves, that's his favorite thing is chicken drumsticks for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why, but he'll eat four or five, six of these every single sitting for sure. Come on, Arch. Come on, one more. Come on, up, up. There you go. There you go, buddy. Good boy. You're such a good boy. Good job, bud. Way to go, buddy. I love you so much. I tell you what, it is so cool. I can't imagine life without RJ. I've had him for so long, but again, and when he gets over to the Reptarium, is on display. People are going to love him, the interactions with him. I'm going to allow people to do exactly like Gatorland, where he stations and you can throw food into his mouth. You know, I'll be able to get in there, maybe do some alligator shows, stuff like that. So he's going to be an absolute pleasure when he gets over there. But for now, he's doing good over here. And I know a lot of you guys have been wondering how he's going. So there you are. He is definitely awesome. Spending a little time with my buddy Waffles here. I tell you what, this thing is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm telling you what, I know I keep saying this. I wish there was smell-o-vision because this thing smells like sweet maple syrup. It's crazy. Even when you open the enclosure, immediately it just like wafts you with like almost like this syrup smell. And so Waffles is absolutely incredible. And he is getting so amazing when it comes to handling and just being a part of things. But holy cow, are these claws just absolutely rippers. I mean, the power of this animal. You know, Elvis obviously is a big monitor lizard as well but there is a difference between the power of these claws when this guy hangs on to you it's like it's ripping right into your skin I mean I love him to death and he's absolutely amazing and he's getting better and better about just kind of coming out and walking around when we first got him to be totally honest with you he always just wanted to go back to his cage we'll see if he does it again right now but he's getting a lot better. <laughs> it looks like he's just gonna go back home. He's like, Dad, I've had enough. But he's actually doing pretty good. A lot of times we let him out, he'll wander around and go around and stuff like that. He's getting more and more comfortable, but 
today he's just like, Dad, I've had enough. I just want to go back and chill out and stuff like that. What an absolutely amazing animal. I mean, just the size of its head, the prehistoric look of that animal. I mean, I've always wanted a big black throat, and I'm so glad that we have waffles because he's absolutely a ripper. We're here with Beetlejuice, Bruce and I, and we're about to do some feeding fun time, all right? We dropped the tongs. We have hands. God gave us ten fingers for a reason. Hopefully we leave with them. Uh, you want to unlock this thing and get it going? We got about five rodents here. We're going to bring them out, feed them by hand, drag them across the thing. We're just going to have some fun today. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. Whoa! Oh, that was crazy! Good job, buddy. Good job. Are you serious? He leaped! <laughs> Dude, he'll come hopping out this way. He'll come running down and stuff like that. That was awesome. He'll go right for you. It is just Wash some fingers, though. He'll get you. It is just Yeah. That you're, was crazy. You're smarter, you're smarter than you look. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna get whipped in the face, it's alright. Uh, we have one last rodent. Here we go, he's gonna go off. Whoop, 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 We're gonna give him some. Yeah, 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 I had to pick him up because he had one going on his own. Come here. That's alright. There you go, come here. Such come a on. beautiful animal. Come on. Alright, Beetlejuice, that was awesome, bro. Fun. That was amazing. <laughs> I still cannot believe that he jumped out like that. He was like Superman. He was like, Whoo -hoo -hoo! We're gonna need an instant replay on that. Back at you guys with my friends over at HelloFresh. You guys know I love them, been using them forever. Listen, I don't have the time to go to the store. It's gonna take me 40, 50 minutes. I don't have the time to think about recipes. Listen, HelloFresh has so many chef curated recipes, up to 50 per week. And right now they actually have taste of the summer. That's right, as things are heating up outdoors, they wanna get you away from the ovens with cool barbecue protein, sides, all kinds of different stuff to kind of get you outside. You know what I mean? But today we're not gonna get outside because to be honest with you, I'm gonna cook some crispy buffalo spiced chicken. That's right, I absolutely love this. And again, you guys know I've been a HelloFresh fan for a long, long time. It's just easy because, listen, I'm no chef, but they make me look like a chef. So, you know, I have all kinds of great, I mean, got carrots in here. I mean, what better than carrots? This is gonna be really good. You can choose from all kinds of different things. Hey, if you're into the healthy life like I'm trying to be in, I can try to choose the healthiest possible thing that I possibly can. And uh, oh, oh, potatoes going everywhere. That's okay. And like I mentioned, no matter what I cook, I've been doing this for a long time. It always tastes absolutely amazing. Sometimes I don't even tell Lori that is. I say, I come up with the recipe on my own. You know what I mean? But the truth is, I just love HelloFresh because not only do they have amazing food, but they also are good for the environment. Every package is either made out of recyclable or ready to recycle content which just is huge for me because you know I, I like the environment you should like the environment so listen eat healthy eat good choose some cool stuff and if you want to get out of the kitchen this summer and do this summer thing outside they now have that starting this August which is cool but for now let's just go ahead and get into some cooking as temperatures rise HelloFresh knows people are looking for ways to avoid the oven so this year they're launching summer only limited time recipes and specials chef curated barbecue bundles from HelloFresh markets include assortments of tasty grillable proteins surf and turf options, classic mix and match sides, and summery desserts. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. HelloFresh makes living healthier easier with many low carb, carb smart, vegetarian, and prescatarian options every week. Plus, every recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and getting dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. HelloFresh pre portioned ingredients, meaning less prep for you and less wasted food. HelloFresh carbon footprint is 25% lower than meals made from store-bought groceries. Go to HelloFresh.com, use my promo code 14BrianB to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. And now my favorite part. Oh, it smells so good. I tell you what, I love it. This is good too. It's going to have a little spice to it. Mmm. Wow. That is so good. I hope you guys don't mind me eating in front of you because this is absolutely incredible. One of my favorites I've cooked so far. You can go over to HelloFresh.com, use my promo code 14 B, and you can get 14 meals including free shipment. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go ahead and eat, alright? Mmm! Alright, we're going to get our reaction of watching the surveillance <laughs> cam of Beetle just flying it out at Bruce's face. <laughs> Literally at my face. Yeah. You don't know what you're missing out on. Wait for this, dude. This is crazy. I heard you guys. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I was amped up. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, just comes oh my god, out, dude. dude. He literally leaped like three feet out. Like, I know, dude, that was <laughs> like, awesome. Oh my god. Remember a few days ago, we actually cut that super enchi orange dream bread to a stinger bee enchi orange dream? Well, the baby's hatched out, and it's crazy. The first thing I noticed was the fact that this happens from time to time. We hatched a fireball python in here, meaning that either the male or the female had fire in it. And that was something that I didn't know, you know, because again, those genes kind of mumble things up. I have a feeling it was actually the male that actually had the fire. So we did get one little fire. And of course, then we ended up with a fire spider as well, which just is a spider ball python with a little bit more fading. Then we ended up with a beautiful, super orange dream Enchi right here. Absolutely incredible. So again, it's Enchi and then it's super orange dream. And that thing is a ripper. And then this is what I believe to be a fire. I'm not sure if it's a fire, but I think it's a fire, but it's definitely a super Enchi. It's a super orange dream, a spider. And I believe to be fire too, just cause it's faded a little bit, but Holy moly, is that an absolute ripper right there. I was so excited when we cut this clutch, so I'm so happy that they've hatched out. We have some smelt fish here for our green tree monitors, so we're gonna get this thing unlocked and loaded. You got my back? Yeah. Make sure no monitors fly out, man, because I'm telling you, these guys are quick. They're yeah. lightning quick. Right here. Come on, bud. You want some fish? You want some fish, bud? You want some fish? He's like, get me away! Get me away! All right. We're trying to get them to eat off the tongues because we haven't gotten them quite yet, or we haven't seen them uh, actually eat. We have to typically leave it in there and they'll go back to it. So we're trying to get them more habituated to us and eating off the tongue so we can obviously, you know, show it off. They're super cool monitors. Oh, I felt something. Oh, it's coming out. It's crawling out. You want this? Right here. You want this? Take it, big boy. So we're just gonna plant some pieces all around the cage. Good enrichment for the animals. Here with our Argus monitors, Cheech and Chong. We got some more fish. Let's see if we can try to get them to tong feed on camera. They're a little camera shy, they're a little tong shy. So this is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Thanks, Mike. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> he's not even, he's just like frozen finger kind of. Oh! Yes. Oh yes! Oh no, it gets stuck to the tongue. He's still got a little nibble. This is a part of the training process. I'm actually super happy. He nibbled it. He took a nibble, all right? And that's huge leaps and bounds because he used to be terrified and now he's nibbling meat. This is amazing. We're gonna put a little pieces in there just to make him happy. Part of working with animals. You win some, you lose some. Today was... It was a tie. Yeah, it was a tie break. It was a tie. So tomorrow we'll try or the next day we'll give them some more fish and see how it goes. While we're feeding smelt off to a bunch of things, I know that chopsticks will absolutely love it. And it's always interesting to see how they'll actually play with each other in the sense that they both need to eat or both want to eat. And it's really an interesting kind of dance that they do. So as you can see, I mean, they definitely love the smelt. I mean, they're just taking it. The thing I find so interesting is the fact that they actually will fight over the same piece of food. Or if I can give them two pieces at the same time, they still seem to kind of fight like, hey, I want my brother's food or something like that. They're just absolutely adorable. I mean, just look at them go. They love this smell. That is absolutely incredible. See if this hoggy wants one. Yep, looks like he wants to take it. There it is. Look at that, how cute that is. There you go, bud. There you go. That is absolutely awesome. <laughs> <laughs> at least uh, at least I got some success down here. The garter snakes are a little bit too squirmish, but hoggies actually love tuna and salmon and stuff like that. So uh, this is a good little treat for them. So had some fun with smell today. I hope that you guys enjoyed just kind of the, uh, you know, change up of things we feed. Again, lots of enrichment, lots of variety. That's what you got to do to keep these guys healthy and happy. This time we're going to try it with our boy Toothless. Perfect, perfect, perfect fish. Bingo. He's trying to come out for more. He's like, I have one mouthful is not enough. Perfect. He sees the full plate. Focus on your piece. He's getting so big. I mean, he's actually becoming a dragon now. This is awesome. Yeah, like he, yeah he's getting like Elvis to remember Yes. This. Let's go. And is he good? Oh, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Yeah, I, don't, I don't want him hopping out like people just. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It's nev it never gets boring feeding monitors, that's for sure. Toothless, he's growing up too fast. <laughs> Obviously the boys fed all the smelt fish off to a bunch of monitors today with some success, some failure, but hey, it's all a learning thing. We're definitely getting there. But my boy Elvis loves fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give him a little bit of enrichment. I'm gonna set these fish right on the ground right here. And I'm gonna let him find them and just kind of pick them away. I think he's gonna really enjoy it. Come on, bud. You can smell, come on. Come on, right over here. Right to it, such a smart boy. And it's good enrichment, right? Cause uh, normally he's eating bigger meals. This is just little small meals. So he has to kind of really figure it out and figure out what's going on. 
Come on, Elvis, go ahead. I know you love fish. Look at him thinking in his way through. He's thinking, there you go, buddy. <laughs> Again, this isn't a big meal for Elvis at all. This is more about mental enrichment than it is about actual nutrition here. But uh, he's trying to just, you gotta go down lower, buddy. There you go, buddy. It's so weird, it's like, he thinks the floor is a little bit higher than it is, so he's getting weird. I, you know, I'm so tempted to just like hand feed him, but I'm just worried that he'd bite my hand. There you go, bud. There it is. And again, when you switch things up, right? Like we always feed them on tongs or in a bowl or something like that. You switch things up, that just makes them think more. And that's good for them, you know? The more mental enrichment, the better for these guys. And he's such a smart animal, he needs plenty of it. So this is absolutely perfect for him. It's amazing how dainty he is about it. He's just so dainty, it's awesome. There it is. And there it is, he got his little mental enrichment. There you go, buddy, good job, way to go. Definitely awesome. Uh, good. I like buying this smelt. This was actually a fun day. Well, there it is. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I sure do appreciate you tremendously. Do me a favor. Right over here, can you hit a playlist? Hit one or two videos. Helps me out tremendously. Also, if you don't mind, hit that subscription button. I sure do appreciate you guys more than I can tell you. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.